Hi, welcome to my channel. This is the fifth video of this series. Today we will host a simple HTML page. Uh, we will see how to um, create the website, uh, create the user and add the domain and how to upload the content to the uh, site location and how to test uh, that the uh, page is working let's uh, log into the web panel so here we can see that we have only one user here so uh, to create a website we have to uh, create a user uh, we can create the website under the admin user no problem with that but uh, normally what we do uh, we create a user uh, for that site um, and then we create the site under that user uh, so let's create a user first let's say site one password site one two three email let's say one gmail.com uh, default package language English site one send login credential to email address so it will send the uh, username and password how to uh, log into the system uh, log into the F this is actually um, uh, FTP username and password we will use this uh, username and password to log into the uh, website so let's add the user now we can see that site one user is created now let's log in uh, to the system with this user login as site one under the site user uh, let's go to the web tab let's create the first domain let's say our domain name is site one dot mail server dot com uh, and this is our um, web server IP address or this web panels IP address we are not uh, assigning any DNS and mail support with this uh, domain so let's create the domain okay so we have created our first domain our domain name is site1.mailserverguru.com now uh, to host a site uh, we don't need anything else right now so let's log into the uh, site one's location and uh, we can upload some content here and after that we will browse the content so this will be the steps so here our username is site one so let's uh, log into the system 0 0.100 is the web server username will be site one password is site one two three quick connect okay so web site one dot mail server guru public html these are the default pages let's delete these pages and we will upload our sample page i have two sample page to upload here at the sample page directory we have two sample page page one dot html and page two dot html and we're uploading this uh, uh, html pages to this location web site one dot mail server dot com public html this is the location of the web pages so let's click the upload now we have uploaded the page one and page two dot html now what we have to do as we have uh, configured our site with the name site one dot mail server dot com so this is a fictitious name right now and we have to um, assign this name to our IP address to our DNS server instead of uh, assigning this uh, IP to the domain name uh, to our DNS server uh, we can uh, use our host file in this way here's our IP and the domain name now if we ping site one dot mail server dot com uh, we can see that it resolves the web server IP so if we hit the 
domain name here for the three forbidden because there is no uh, default page so if we hit page one dot html here we can see this is the page one dot html this is the header this is the medium header this is actually a uh, sample page i have downloaded from the internet and if we see the page two dot html here we can see that page two dot html also shows so we have successfully uh, parked a simple html site or simple html uh, website in vesta cp so in our upcoming videos i will try to show you how to set up a complete website uh, a database based website like wordpress or zoomla so if we uh, see the options uh, from the beginning uh, that what we did actually to host the uh, website first we have created a uh, user if we log out here we have created a user and we have uh, logged in with this user credential the site one login as site one then uh, under the site one user we created a web uh, website our website site onemailsuperguru.com and after that we uh, ftp uh, to the uh, site location this is our web server this is the username and password and this is our um, web content uh, location uh, slash web site onemailsuperguru.com and public html so we have uploaded two uh, html simple simple html page here and then we uh, mapped the web server with our site name to the uh, host file of our system of our pc uh, from where we want to uh, see the uh, we want to test the um, website after mapping uh, to the host file we can uh, ping uh, the site names uh, we can check that the site name is actually resolving the uh, web server then we hit uh, on the browser the site onemailsuperguru.com slash page one dot html or page two dot html so in this way we have tested that uh, that our uh, web page is uh, okay our web, web server is okay our hosting is okay so this is it uh, i'll see you on the next video